Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. I think it's a good morning thus far, but uh, guys, uh, my little Maya is being so active lately. And I mean really, really active. Uh, she just goes and goes and goes sometimes. And, uh, you know, she's the one at the little door this morning. Not Lily, because Lily's got a bit of a full. Well, actually, she wouldn't have a full belly um, at the moment because I'm pretty sure she's digested. So I'm guessing it'll be Lily out tonight. But this morning, it's Maya. So I thought I'd get her out. And I'm busy. I'm really quite busy in the mornings and you know I don't really have a lot of time to be saying to my okay sweetie come on out but by having some things set up in my room I can kind of make it a little bit easier so that I can have them out and I said I'd do a, a little video on the things that I have available for my snakes and where they can kind of hang out rather than me having to physically be touching them the whole time that they're out. Um, I think I like the aspect of giving them some freedom to move and, and explore, but you've also got to keep them safe at the same time. So I'm not saying you can just get your snake out and say, okay, go there. You can't do that. You do have to really be watching them and able to watch them. And I'm sitting on the computer uploading and so forth at the moment, so Maya can be in the room. So anyway, let's get to Maya and I'll get her out. Even though she's kind of stuck her little head back in that hide, <laughs> I know she's been everywhere because I've been watching her and taking notice of her and she's heard me open that door. Come here. Gonna come out, sweetie? Gonna come and see mum? Come on. What way are you gonna go? Quick, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Yes, I am. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Are you coming? I've seen you at the door. You've been at the door for the last whatever. So where are you now? Oh. I don't know if you can see her all the way over in the corner there. Hey pumpkin, where have you gone? You going up under? You squeezed under your your hide. I don't want to move it too much, Dar, so in case you've got your midriff. Are you coming? I lift it. I lift it for you? How's that? Can you get out now? Get that big belly out. Come on, darling. I don't want to squish it on you. Come on. Is it coming? No, right. And I know that you're not hungry because you've had plenty, plenty, plenty. Can I move this? There you go. Oh, there you go. No squish belly for Maya. Move yourself over a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm just going to make sure I don't um, squish her and she's in the opening. Come on. Let's get, get you all the way out of that hide, doll. So it don't pull on you. Okay. That it. There we go. She's out. Well, that part of her is out. Come on. Over to the door. Come on. You cannot be hungry. You cannot be hungry. That's a can. And that's me hand. That's my hand. Can you see my hand? Can you see my hand? 
You come on out. Come on, dog. Come on. Oh my goodness, are you going to make Mama work? Are you? Are you going to make Mama work today? Let's get you out from behind there. Oh, you might be little, but you, um, you're, um, you're still long. <laughs> I know this looks awkward, looks really awkward, but, okay, got her. Oh good, let me shut the door. Shut the door, keep the humidity in a little bit. This weather, humidity's dry, there you go. See yourself, happy now, happy Jack. Well your name not Jack, it's Maya, isn't it? So guys, you know I'm already six minutes in and all I've done is get Maya out. I haven't really gotten any further, but this is one little thing when she gets a, a little booty tail off me. Yeah, little spotted use their tail a lot too. Just uh, the grip isn't so intense as what my carpets are. Or Lily. Well, actually, Lily, as much as she's got that prehensile tail, she doesn't grip very often, only when I'm going to go and put her home and then she grips because that's, don't, you're not putting me home. Getting her out, never ever grips because she knows, oh, I'm coming out, I ain't hanging on to nothing, I'm ready to go, let's go, basically. And, and yeah, it just cracks me up because it's the opposite. When I'm going to put her home, that tail wraps and she hangs on tight and there is no letting go, I tell you. I tickle it. I, I do everything and she won't let go. She just will not let go. But it's little Miss Maya can come out and have a little bit of a, a run around for the moment. Just letting my cat come in. But uh, yeah, this is, you know, one little thing that I've, okay, I'm a gift bearer. This is the big dog that you heard barking and his name is Jed and he's the Labradoodle and he's a lot of bark but he is also very protective. Once that sun goes down at night, I'm telling you, my boy goes into complete and utter guard mode and especially of me. And that uh, little grey thing that came through was Max. Molly hasn't appeared as yet. She's down on my bed, so maybe I'll get her. But Molly is actually a Bichon Freeze. So um, she's a mini version of Jet, it looks like. Um, often people say, is she one of his babies? And I go, no, she's actually 11 years old, Molly. And Jed is coming up five, so there's, yeah, he's much younger than her. But, uh, yeah, this is one, we're back on the subject, gay. Okay? Um, this is one of the, the things that I've built. And it was kind of, I was at a, a second-hand shop. I saw one of these closed laundry baskets that had one of the cloth bags sitting in it. And I just took the cloth bag out and just went down, bought some broom handles and tied them on and grabbed a plant and stuck it on. And that's where my guys get to climb on. Even my big guys will sit on it. And Lily uses it as a way of getting to here to there and so forth. But she'll curl up on it and there's videos that you'll, you'll see that are of Lily curled up on it and just sleeping the day away. Um, and I love it because they're out, they can stretch out, they can hang up, they can hang down, they can whatever on this and especially the little ones and they're safe. I know where they are. I keep my eye on them and as you can see Maya is just 
whatever right now. Where's your head? Where's your head? Down there? Hey? Great way for them to explore. Really is cheap. I think this cost me a couple of dollars. Uh, a few broom handles at $2.50 each. Some, uh, you know, whatever these are called. Um, but yeah, those things that ties um, that are easy to wrap and um, keep everything tight for them. Um, you know, you want to make sure they don't fall. Look, this is starting to get a little bit rickety at the moment for my big guys, especially not so much the little ones, but I will tighten it all up with some, get my screwdriver out, some screws and start screwing it in and tightening it all up again. But, you know, my guys love it. It's just perfect for them. And if you've got littler ones, put them on. Sit back, watch them. It's a great way to watch them if you like watching butt ends of snakes right now because that's all you're seeing of, of Meyer at the moment. But, uh, yeah, she'll explore um, there. She'll hang out. She'll... There you go. She's, she's coming up there now with her little head. Aren't you? Great place, isn't it, Maya? You know what it is, don't you? Yep. It's no sharp bits. It's all all good, all safe. I just sit back, get on with doing what I need to do, keep my eye on her. Sometimes she'll crawl on down here and come on over to see me. You know, I just put it back she starts all over again so it's exercise really good exercise actually for them and I'm not restraining them I'm not forcing them to be somewhere where they don't necessarily want to be they're able to to have that freedom of movement and I do think that my snakes really appreciate that well I get out she might spend you know I'll put my around my neck and go and do a couple of things and she hangs there with me but then I, I let her just hang out. If she's not here, um, then we'll move over to the next uh, thing. And Azzy, you know, is really interested in creating something for her girl. You could do something similar that is stronger, of course, Azzy, um, for your girl. And I know she doesn't like heights, so you can create a lower level thing for her or create a two-tiered thing a lower level and then have some branches and or sticks or whatever going up to the next little level and big enough for her to just climb up on and wrap herself around some of those logs and bits that you put on it and make it portable nothing too heavy that is difficult to move around or just have it in one spot in the room and when I say you know shorter smaller not as high up the ground you know build something that has a base as such put some sticks across at another base you know by building some sort of a step up I oh, can't even see my hand I think I'm in zoom but a step up to the next level uh, I just try and use my imagination to to do these things and just figure it out as I go and yeah, that's how I've kind of done it all but getting over to this one um, you know I've just used some bamboo sticks uh, to create this and of course ties again to keep it secure I'll go out of zoom because I think I am in zoom but you know these rings I bought for I think $13 and they had three rings on them which were actually for bird Avery and tied them all together to create loops and circles um, for my snakes to crawl through of course my bamboo sticks are all connected just a normal sort of branch here and another one here and secured it with some vine as well especially for the little ones they can support themselves on it I bought this as a shower, you know, to step out on it after a bath or a shower, but, you know, these 
sort of slot into those little grooves which makes it even more secure and uh, I've connected it to the the wall as well which as he you know you can't do anything of the permanent level but I can but that is what I've been able to set up up on top of this enclosure and my guys know that it's there and that is where they go I've changed the basket for Lily hoping that's not so topsy-turvy because she likes laying in that and going to sleep so then I've just sort of created an environment where they can crawl across um, because then we go to the bigger area which is for my big snakes and if you can see behind I have lattice work uh, bifold screen that I stuck in the corner and I was able then to stick these bamboo sticks and build climbing areas on it with those bamboo sticks and normal sticks all connected together and as you know my snakes love coming up here and chilling out especially Lily and she's had a tendency to stick to this middle hammock which I bought little bamboo sticks and and wove them um, this particular thing and I just wove them um, all together I know it's dark I'm sorry and and just stuck a cover on them um, for them to lay on that I can easily wash and clean and then they have the corner there where they can go and lay on um, and curl up and and yep the Jack and Lily love up there too and then moving back where you think you're going Missy we do going where my girl going? Hey? Where do you think you're going? Hey? That's the cam. Yep, that's the cam. Oh, she says, okay, hang on to me and I'll... I'll climb onto you. Hey? Hey, beautiful. Can't see her head, but I can. She's just so looking... Well, was looking straight at me there. Um, you can go back on there, bub. You can go in there and hang out. Come to me, Mama. Come into Mum. Hey. Did you want to have some time with Mum? First, did you? Did you want to come and say hello to me first? Yep, that's the lens. You can climb on my shoulders. Just sit there for a little bit longer and then I'll come and get you. Okay? So... Then, of course, I built this contraption, and it's kind of a contraption. That roping was for bird aviaries again, and I thought, hey, my snakes can crawl into that and curl up. And, you know, I just shoved bamboo sticks through it to give it a bit of strength. It's just connected to hooks that have got that thing on the back that opens up so that there's no way it can fall through the roof at all. Um, you know, Jack's a heavy boy but he gets up on there and he crawls around and I've just hung plants on it. Um, all the sticks are woven through to give some strength to the actual thing itself. I mean it moves fractionally but these sticks are supporting it all the way down and Jack and Lily just crawl up on these sticks and come up here and of course I turn the ceiling fan off when they're up there they just poke their little heads over and they just check me out from up there and then they just yeah curl up and I'll find Jack fast asleep up in here uh, many times and that's where he'll stay bit of a bugger to get him down I must admit really can be like that getting them down from these places but I generally find by the end of the day Lily is okay well I'm going home now and she'll have been out from like six in the morning till nine at night and guys these days I am really looking for bed at nine at night and there is my girl Tessa all curled up and there is my Maya 
trying to find out whether she can uh, get herself up and about somewhere other than down low. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You, there is no way you're disappearing. And that's the difference between my big guys. I don't let Maya go up here and um, hang out anywhere up there because she can easily disappear. Well, not disappear, but I, if I can't see her, then she's not allowed to be there. My big guys, I can either see their head or I can see their tail. Um, something's poking out, so I know where they are and what they're doing. So hence why that little hangout spot and this is perfect. Maya has been in there, in that, that big roofing part, all that hanging down thing on my roof. And, you know, that's fine if I'm, I'm sitting there completely focused on her. But um, I'm not today, sweetie. So anyway, guys, look, I, I just wanted to show you because often it's been asked what they are and so forth and I hope that it's given you some ideas. I'd love to put more shelving around and I mean fairly um, width wise shelving um, that would be suitable for my snakes to get to and from as well um, which I will be looking into doing but everything has to be well supported I do not want them to fall or drop from any great height and that to me is number one priority so I'm thinking about what I can do and what I can get done um, and yeah hopefully that'll be my next thing over this year to do so from Maya and myself and I'll get around, oh here she comes um, so you can see her there she's just gonna hang out while mum gets some work done what do you think Maya? alright guys, take care of yourself family, <laughs> your snakes ciao